at the end of the season, I just put my mower in the garage. I don't do anything. What is the problem with that? The biggest reason mowers don't start in spring, and this is frustrating, is because the fuel has gone bad. What happens is it oxidizes and it clogs the, the, the jets. It can actually clog the carburetor bowl. It can really create a mess. The other thing is that today's fuel has ethanol. It's, it's 10 percent. Now it's allowed to have 15 in some place, you know, actually. And the ethanol has a way of separating out over time and can be corrosive on its own. So that's why you really want to stabilize the fuel. And what's great is that the stabilizer not only preserves the fuel for up to a year, um, it actually cr it has something that's designed to keep the ethanol from separating out and becoming I, th corrosive. This is probably going to sound stupid to you. Yeah. I apologize. But I thought you just have to open up the top flip it over and drain the gas. You don't have to drain it. Here's something even easier. You want to add basically some the, the right amount of stabilizer to that small amount of fuel. Okay. It's very easy to kind of squeeze it. It's easy to measure. Mm -hmm. And at that point, all you have to do is start the mower and run it dry. Because now the stabilizer... Outside. Outside, sure outside yes. Outside don't do it inside. Don't do it in your living room. Run it dry because this way the stabilized fuel is going to coat all those passages in the mm -hmm. carburetor and the fuel system and the float bowl, the part of the carburetor, all those happy, wonderful techie parts. But you're coating them with fuel that's been preserved. Okay. And that's a whole lot easier than having to dump it and drain it and flip lots, it. Lots easier. Good. I now what about the filter? You, you got other to... stuff going. Now with a mower, every mowers and tractors have filters. Mm -hmm. I mean they look very much like the smaller versions of the ones in cars. They're mm -hmm. panel filters. It's really easy. Uh, you don't need any tools to get them out. They just You just kind of undo a wing nut and open, uh, open a door and out they come. You, this one's clean. You can hold it up against the light and check it. But really, every year it's a smart idea to just, idea to just simply change them. So just pop in a new, a new uh, paper filter. It's so all it is. So if you use your lawnmower once a week you, for the season, all season. you can assume that. Exactly. Okay. Just, just replace that filter. Here's something else you want to do. There's a spark plug in front. I, I don't know if the camera can see it. It's kind of hiding there somewhere. This is an overhead valve engine. But there is a spark plug. Usually it's in front. Here it is, actually. Mm -hmm. You really want to remove the spark plug once a year and change it. You know, I you, never you, did that. Well, it, you know, you could regap it the way we used to do years ago, but really it's simple to just unscrew it and change it with a new one, which comes pre-gapped with the proper gap for the spark. The only thing you want to do is they make something called anti-seize compound, and what you do is gently coat the thread so this way when you put it in and it's time to change it a year from now, uh, it'll be easy to remove. The oil you want it, you have to, yeah, unfor okay. unfortunately, yes, there's no magic way All to right, remove what's it. what's going on here? Sometimes there's a plug underneath. This could, you know, but more, that's the best way, is to be able to just do it from, you know, undo the plug okay. and drain it. You've got to flip it on its side. Sometimes you actually have to, with two people or so, turn the mower over and actually drain it from above, which I don't like as much. The good thing with a tractor, which you obviously can't flip over, is that there's an easy way to drain that oil from above. A nice okay. tube. Sometimes you need an extension, but it's simple. Into a pan to be properly disposed of, which is easy. Normally, this is built up mess of clippings. Uh -huh. And the problem with that is that clippings hold moisture. They hold it against the deck. Another big reason, the, probably the biggest reason people throw away a mower is not the engine, it's actually the deck rusts. Oh. So again, those clippings, you don't, if, they, if you leave them there, they promote rust and corrosion. Here's what else, if you leave them there and mow in spring, what happens is that the airflow and the currents don't work right. So instead of having proper mm -hmm. mulching or bagging where, where the currents are proper and the clippings are being basically routed to the bag. What happens is that it messes that all up. You get clumps and uneven mowing, even on a mower that would normally do well. Okay. So you want to kind of gently scrape that away. You can use kind of a trowel. Mm -hmm. You can use a number of things. Gently remove it. The, actually, the easiest way is to hose it out. A lot of mowers, like this one, have a top on top of the deck where you can connect a garden hose and just basically turn the mower on when it's upright, of course, okay. and allow the blade to kind of distribute the water. But you can also hose it from beneath. That's another way. You also want to be sure to sharpen the blade. Okay. Why, why sharpen the blade? I would sharpen the blade at the beginning of the season. Why would I want to do it in the fall? You could. Here's the thing. You could. But it's like everything else. You put it off and you forget about it. And then it's time to start. And you forget about it and you mow. And you're wondering, why is this engine working so hard? Why is it kind of wearing out ahead of its time? Why is it using more fuel? But worse, even, why are you tearing the okay. grass? And that's what a dull blade does. It oh. actually rips the grass, promotes disease. You are nothing but a dull blade. <laughs> All An right. exciting dull Thank blade. Thank you so Thank much, you. Bob. I Thank really you. appreciate it.